am so excited for today's video, which really doesn't even need a huge introduction because the title speaks for itself. If you're watching this, you're interested in thrifting or secondhand shopping here in Japan, and I'm excited to deliver that for you. Now, this video has come highly, highly, highly requested, but I felt like I could never really deliver for you guys because where I live is in the countryside of Japan. This is the part where I shamelessly plug my little life in the Japanese countryside, which I love so much. It is such an underrated experience, and I hope you guys subscribe, hit the bell, stick around, and let's get back to the video. My options are typically more like furniture shopping or appliances and buying things secondhand like that. We do have one store here in town that's secondhand that does have clothing, but it's not like those trendy collectible items that I would at least be looking for. I have definitely gone thrifting here many, many times. One of my personal favorite things to collect is pottery in case you haven't noticed my beautiful shelf which I had like custom made to display all of it. I know that you guys are really interested in seeing what like the clothing looks like especially in the younger areas like the big cities and luxury secondhand shopping. I did want to talk to you a little bit about what secondhand or thrift shopping is like in Japan. If you are visiting on tourism or you live here, if you look up thrift store, you're not going to get a lot of items populated. It's typically called a recycling center, a recycling shop, or What's that? Or like a secondhand store. So you will get things populating a lot more in your search engine if you use those specific words and not thrift store. Another thing that you're going to notice in this video is how clean the secondhand stores are here. Like I, and I'm comparing things to the United States where I'm from. And it's not anything against thrift or secondhand stores back home in the States, but the way that they're organized here and how well taken care of the items are, it's like buying things brand new. It is in pristine condition. Like there are no scratches on it. Like look at the bottom of this bag. Look at these chairs I found. I got like two rattan chairs. And they were less than $40 for both of them. And they're in such great condition. These stores will not accept items that are even like remotely damaged. And I don't really know like the cultural significance of that. Like if anybody else can enlighten us on it, I feel like I'm not the person to speak to that, but it's definitely something I've observed and noticed in every single thrift or secondhand store that I've gone to. Before we dive into today's video, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is my good friends over at Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. I'm telling you that the courses that they have are absolutely amazing. There's a huge variety. Like I've learned how to master Japanese dumplings, like the really complicated folding. And then recently I watched a video by Christopher Griffin, who is the plant queen. So if you guys are interested in learning like how to take care of plants among a huge variety of other things you can learn on Skillshare, then you wanna watch his series. Something that I learned from him is that you can use eggshells as a fertilizer for your plants. And we eat so many eggs. I feel like I'm always throwing away eggshells. So I'm definitely gonna take his advice and use that as a fertilizer for my plants. Skillshare is geared around your learning, so there's unlimited access, there's no ads, and most classes are less than 60 minutes. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Let's get to thrifting, shall we? We're currently in Book Off. I will link it in the description for you guys. It's here in Hiroshima. And I'm not really looking for anything specific, but I'll show you some of the things that are in here so far. It's Pretty big. Right now I'm in the electronics and music section, I guess. They have really nice instruments over here. But let's go exploring and see what we can find. We found the camera section. Oh, I want it. <laughs> so that's $41. I've actually wanted one of those like little hand cameras. They have a Canon. You should find out if it works. And then maybe, because that's super cheap. Oh. 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 Oh.
Linda's getting the camera. Um, it's a film camera and it's actually just like 40 US dollars. It's in really good condition, but the lens they said has like some mold in it. But I think she decided like for the price, it's really good because she can just get a new lens. So she's getting the body and everything for a super crazy cheap price. Wait, where's the 12 Pro? Oh, wow. Okay. And how did you get that for you? Wow. They're in such good condition, too. Well, at the upside. They have Dyson air wraps here. Volume and shape. This one is a little less than $390. I was not expecting to see those here. The Dyson was not the complete set, it's just the volume one. Um, but I just came downstairs because we're gonna look at the clothes and bags. This is a little less than 160. This one's about 100. $100, a little less than $200, that's crazy. This looks old too. It is so well organized in here. Lace shirts, volume sleeve shirts, check shirt, long sleeve shirt. It is like, like categorized into anything you could imagine or need. Short sleeve mitts. They're thinking of it all, you guys. I almost feel a little overwhelmed because this place is so big. <laughs> wow. So I don't really know enough about like the history of these kind of things. Like I wish I knew more so I could talk more. I don't love the pattern. I think it's because I don't. Like, I think they're beautifully made, but I don't... But see, I think that this is... I actually think this is so pretty. I actually like the red. Yeah. So that's about... 170? Yeah, like 160 US dollars for that scarf. But you can see, like, there's no, like, picking in it or anything. I actually like the shape of this bag. I think that those ones are really cute. This bag is 250000 yeah, I know. With my name and dinner at restaurant Le Maurice. Oh, no, no, it's not a dish. I only drink this. Like a little less than 4,000 USD. But look at the condition. Like, look at the hardware. It doesn't even look used. I wish you guys could like see the quality of these bags in person. Like, it's incredible how pristine the kid condition of them. Chloe, Gucci, Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton. One of the things about thrifting and buying secondhand, especially bags in Japan, is the quality of the bags and how well they're taken care of. It's like the most elite of the elite, and you can definitely trust that they're going to be the real bag. In Japan, they really pride themselves on like not lying to the customer. And even the smallest little dent or indentation can drop the price a lot because it's not considered perfect anymore. We also have some Air Jordans. These ones are a little less than 300 US dollars. High OG, Midnight, and Navy. These are a little less than $280. I didn't really have any luck looking at that store. I feel like the men's section is probably where I wanted to be for clothing because uh, they have like really cool uh, like graphic t-shirts and just brands that I think I would like a lot better. Uh, but we are going to lunch now. I'm so happy. Wenda convinced me to get the mojito and it is like a dream. <laughs> so this secondhand store is called Second Street. It's in Hondori shopping district. 
It's four floors. So the very, very bottom floor is more of the designer high-end women's. And then they have the women's on the main floor, men's on the second floor, and then men's luxury on the top floor. They have a really great selection of really nice clothes in here. So a little less than $53. all these cute docks like oh I think that these little sandals are so cute these ones are a little less than 80 US dollar and they're in pretty good condition also in really really good condition but these ones are $160 even secondhand they have all of these like name brand bags just like sitting out for you to touch and the staircase is literally right there and that's the exit which is wild to me this one is about 1200 usd you can see the bottoms in really really good condition even still i actually really love that little chanel makeup bag I can't believe they just have these bags just sitting out like this. That is, that would never, ever, ever, ever happen in the States. No way. Oh, I actually really like, oh no, that Gucci backpack's way too small. I really wanted to like this because the print is so cool and fun for like the 70s, but to be honest, like the cut's just not flattering, but I have. This amazing like two-piece set it's for like 30 US dollars I'm praying that it fits well it looks weird right now but I'm gonna get it because it's kind of fab and it's $30 so we're gonna make it work when I get home we found another thrift store on accident and it is amazing like Shimmy shake top. I'm going to have to come here on a whole other trip. The dresses, the fits. Yeah. I'm gonna have to come back and do this whole store on a whole. Like, look. This will be a whole separate trip coming soon. I think it's called Vintage Import Clothing. I think this is the name. But they have amazing stuff. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up today's little thrifting video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed seeing all the things that you can find at the thrift stores here in Japan. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video, if you guys have any other suggestions or what else you want to see. Oh,